The vampire-themed stealth action game Dark is being launched on PC. It will also support Oculus Rift head-mounted display. The game stars Eric Bane, a newly turned vampire who must discover why he was singled out in the first place. Set in a future where vampires have all kinds of abilities, the game focuses on a conspiracy surrounding the military and an old but powerful group of vampires. Exceed Games has announced the release of Killer is Dead. Players who purchase the hack and slash game at launch will also receive an 80-page hardcover art book, a soundtrack CD with 25 songs, and the smooth operator DLC pack. In Killer is Dead, players assume the role of executioner assassin Mondo. He must eliminate S-level criminals. The game explores how far a person might go to protect someone they love. Electronic Arts is reportedly considering adding offline mode to SimCity. The publisher is also thinking about bringing other features to the game via updates. Gamers can give feedback on the potential updates through a survey that EA has been circulating to its users. The next expansion has also been upgraded to include four new features, including the ability to erect skyscrapers and to watch your city change via new technologies. Blizzard is considering adding microtransactions to World of Warcraft. A spokesperson for Blizzard said, We are currently exploring the possibility of adding a way for players in certain regions to make purchases directly within the game. We'll provide additional updates on our plans as development progresses. The developer has previously sold items for World of Warcraft through the Blizzard store, such as purchasable pets and mounts. Despite the fact that Atlas Japan's parent company, Index Holdings, is struggling financially, the developer said their upcoming releases would not be impacted by Index's troubles. Gamers can expect that titles like Shin Megami Tensei 4, Dragon's Crown, and Persona Music Fest 2013 will all be released as scheduled. Atlas US also confirmed they have not been affected by the financial woes of Index Holdings. That's it for gaming. My name is Sam and you can check us out at Daily Motion or right here at 3minuteupdate.com.